In today's quick video about the Jones uh, Cemetery, I want to introduce you to the African American section. Uh, just as a refresher, if you just, you're new to this project, this is the Anglo section here. The uh, Hispanic section is here. Superior Cremation Services, this building is right here. It's a good reference point. This is Cadillac Drive. There's a common area back over here. The African American section is right here. Basically, this line down, across this way. There's a fence line back this way, and it comes back around here. In some of the videos, we've seen the fence line here. In the first video, I think it's dated December the 5th, I'm walking in this area right here. The second video is going to be more recent, and I'm in this clearing right here. You'll be able to see from the first video, you'll be able to see this water tower off in the distance. From the second video, uh, I'm real close to this corner fence line, and you can see this trailer house right here. And so here's a short preview of how overgrown this is. And it's the old African-American section, which I don't believe has been used in over 50 years. It's December the 5th of 2017, and I'm at the Jones African-American section of the cemetery. You can see where the water tower is, but I'm right here by the fence line uh, that separates the property. You can see it here. There's uh, again up against the fence line. We always have all kinds of trash, but um, there's a large depression right here with a funeral home marker. There are grave sites all through this area. Uh, some of them have limestone markers, and some of them don't. Uh, we've got one right here. Let me get a better view of it. It's got a cross in the back side of it etched in, um, but no writing on it. And they're all scattered out through here. This is looking to the east, but it's all dense like this with this pick, with this pencil cactus, persimmon trees, regular cactus, and lots of depressions everywhere we walk. Say hi, Faith. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Dale. You're welcome. And again, there's another large depression right in through here with a funeral home marker at the west side of the gravesite. So it's not as it's going to be very difficult to come in here and clean this site without having it all has to be done by hand. You can see the large areas of lilies and back off in the corner there, there's another headstone. Wednesday, December 20th, 2017, we're in the Jones, the African-American section, and you can see here's Rudy's property here. There's the closest trailer and his trailer. Um, we think this is the, this is going to be the southeast corner post. You can see there's a, a cedar post here that had barbed wire and nails on it, and then the new fence line is right here and then it kind of makes a jog that way to an old post so this might be the the match to the line for the uh, the property lines coming this way you can see back through here this has all just been used as a dump site but there are two graves just right here you can see there's old lighting appliances here um, and there's a garbage disposal here and some pipe and just cans and bottles uh, just tossed over the fence or dropped off in here. Uh, this is Leroy Elder, a private in the Army who died in 1944 and is laid to rest here. Here is uh, a simple piece of stone. It says CE on it and has a footstone right here. So you can see that all throughout this area there are going to be burials. Uh, there appears to be a high ridge right here 
Um, as we walk back this way, we find lots more bottles, lots more trash. We've been kind of clearing a path in through here and opening it up some. Um, bottles of Drano and just all this stuff in through here. You can see it's shoes and tires, balls and cans and lots of glass bottles. And again, here's our fence line here, uh, but there's just all kinds of trash in through here. There's a patch over here that has a lot of irises in it, which is indicative of burials. Um, and, but until the, the surface clutter is cleaned up, it's going to be hard to tell what exactly is in here. Um, I'm guessing we're going to need some barrels. So the aerial photograph and the, the photographs that I shot inside this area show you how overgrown it is. But for those of you who may not have been here for a while, here's Cadillac Drive. Here is the Jones Cemetery up in here. The Anglo section's here. The Hispanic section is here. And this is how overgrown the African American section is. It is through this dense clump of wooded area. You can see here's the, uh, the mobile homes across the street. We're getting access basically right in through here. Um, and you can see that this is not going to be cleaned up very easily. We basically have to find a path in and then start hauling trash out and then start cutting brush and dragging it out here and arrange with the county to stack it here and have the county haul it away. It has to be done in such a way that it doesn't open it up for more illegal dumping. So, uh, in the spring before it gets too hot this is going to be one of the projects we're going to take on